Welcome to Defense of Global, your go-to channel for deep dives into the world's most cutting-edge military developments. Today, we uncover a puzzling and controversial incident, the reported downing of Russia's advanced S-70 Okotnik B drone by none other than the Su-57 Felon, Russia's fifth-generation fighter jet. Was this an accidental friendly fire, or could there be more to the story? Let's break down this intriguing event, explore Russia's ongoing technological challenges, and uncover the implications for modern warfare. The Su-57, Russia's crown jewel of aviation, was developed as a direct competitor to America's F-35 Lightning II, a stealthy multi-role fighter jet designed to dominate air superiority while also handling ground and naval targets. It represents a bold ambition, a project meant to elevate Russia into the elite club of nations with operational fifth-generation fighters. However, while the F-35 has become a globally sought-after aircraft with over 15 allied nations integrating it into their fleets, the Su-57 has struggled to gain such traction on the export market. Budget constraints, technical delays, and geopolitical pressures have hampered production and sales. As a result, Russia turned its attention to enhancing the Su-57's capabilities by integrating unmanned technology, leading to the development of the S-70 Okotnik B, a stealth drone designed to operate alongside the Su-57 in a loyal wingman role. The S-70 Okotnik B drone is an integral part of Russia's vision for a networked battlefield, where manned and unmanned aircraft work together in harmony. This heavy stealth drone, capable of carrying out air-to-ground strikes and electronic warfare, is meant to complement the Su-57, extending its reach and providing added firepower. The concept is simple. The Su-57 pilot from the cockpit would command the drone remotely, managing both air-to-air -air engagements and ground strikes simultaneously. The integration of AI is also a key factor, allowing the S-70 to perform autonomous tasks like navigating and targeting. However, this complex coordination between manned jets and AI-powered drones presents challenges. The Su-57 has a single pilot who must manage both the fighter's operations and the drones. This dual responsibility can overload the pilot, increasing the risk of errors, especially in high-pressure combat situations. Now to the recent incident, Russia's S-70 Okotnik B drone was reportedly shot down by an Su-57 felon in what initially seemed like a case of friendly fire. But was it truly friendly fire or something else? Let's explore two potential reasons behind this perplexing event. Drone malfunction or AI failure. The first and most plausible explanation could be a malfunction in the S-70's AI or control systems. Russia has been working to develop a sophisticated AI to manage drone operations autonomously. However, AI is notoriously difficult to perfect, and it's possible the S-70 could have lost communication with the Su-57 pilot. Once disconnected, the drone could have acted unpredictably, potentially heading towards a dangerous area, such as Ukrainian-controlled airspace. Fearing that the drone might be captured or crash in enemy territory, the Su-57 may have been ordered to shoot it down to prevent sensitive technology from falling into the wrong hands. Russia has a history of data link issues between their systems, with many reports of poor communication protocols between drones and manned aircraft. A malfunction could have led to the drone becoming rogue, with the Su-57 taking it down as a last resort to protect national security. Friendly fire in close quarters combat. Another possibility is that this was simply a friendly fire incident. Most friendly fire incidents occur during beyond visual range, BVR, combat, where fighters rely on radar and missile systems to engage targets at long distances. However, drones typically operate closer to the fighter jets within a visual range. The Su-57 pilot, managing both his aircraft and the S-70, could have mistakenly targeted the drone in the heat of the moment. Given the complexity of operating both systems, this wouldn't be the first time Russia's technology had faced limitations under stressful conditions. Data fusion and processing in the Su-57 may not be as seamless as intended, making errors like this more likely. This incident highlights the technological hurdles Russia faces. Integrating the Su-57 with the S-70 drone exposes flaws in Russia's data link and AI systems. This recent shootdown may reflect a critical gap in their ability to execute manned-unmanned teaming effectively. 
This incident raises serious questions about the effectiveness of Russia's integration of drones and manned aircraft. While Russia has made strides in developing advanced weaponry, the shoot-down of their own S-70 drone by their top-tier Su-57 fighter jet highlights the operational and technological challenges they still face. Will Russia be able to overcome these hurdles and perfect the integration of their manned and unmanned aerial systems, or will these growing pains lead to further setbacks in their defense strategy? Only time will tell, but for now, this incident serves as a reminder that even the most advanced military technologies are not immune to critical errors. Thank you for watching Defense of Global. If you found this analysis interesting, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on global defense technology and military strategy. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Russia can fix these issues, or are we seeing a bigger problem in their defense program? Stay tuned for more.